Hello everybody! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Al. Re is working, but that's okay. She still exists. Get real! So, you may be wondering, wow, you guys aren't so much talking about the Whole30 anymore. Um, you guys are done with that. And so, like, what are you eating just, like, normally on a day-to-day -day basis when you're not doing a Whole30 or just in general? Like, what are you kind of eating? And so, I just got home from the grocery store and I thought, what a great time to do a grocery haul and kind of talk about it a little bit. So, let's get started. Uh, I went to Whole Foods today um, just because... They have sourdough, they have really good sourdough bread, so that's where we went to get that. They're also like always out of it, so that's kind of annoying. I had to end up getting rosemary sourdough instead, um, but rosemary bread is deliciously divine, so I'm not even mad about it. So, um, got some sourdough bread. Um, love to do that, love to eat um, like peanut butter toast with some Re likes to do honey on top or like maple syrup or blueberries or whatever. Um, we also use the sourdough bread with roasted red pepper dip and roasted vegetables as like an open face sandwich, super good. Um, some more bread, just cause one loaf isn't enough. Um, let's see what else do I have. I've got some maple syrup. So we use this, um, we use it in chia pudding, we use it in our homemade like chocolate milk or latte, whatever's. Um, use it for just kind of like as like a flavor or sweetener for a lot of things. So like when we make like granola, we'll use some of this in there. Um, we obviously use it for our oatmeal pancakes that we make. Um, I got some veggie chips. We try not to buy a lot of processed foods, um, but I got this new dip that I wanted to try. So I picked up these veggie chips. All right. Um, next we have... I have two varieties of mushroom powder. I've got my my myataki and shiitake uh, mushroom powder. So primarily use this as a flavoring um, for um, the homemade broth, vegetable broth that I make. Um, I also know that um, so I'm reading this book called Fiber Fueled, and there's like a bunch of recipes in it. And I know that they use this also in like a homemade hot cocoa, uh, but I just haven't gotten there yet. But I know that's coming. So. Next, we have some tempeh, boom, boom. So tempeh is awesome, um, very versatile. You can use it for a lot of things. You can use it in like a stir fry, fried rice. Um, we've lately been using it to make um, like tempeh lentil tacos. So break up the tempeh, get some uh, just cooked lentils and just like taco season it. And then boom, bada bing, there you go. You got tacos, so, so good. Um, got some Pacific kombu. I don't know how to say it, but this is seaweed. And this is another thing that I use to make the homemade broth that we make for um, soups and cooking and just like drinking. Um, so good. So yeah, some seaweed for that. Um, I got some rice noodles. Sometimes things just jump out like off the shelf at you. So that's how this ended up in the cart. Cashew cookie dough filled dark chocolate bar. Um, sure. Then I've got some more ground flax seed. So we use this um, in a lot of things really in like pancakes and chia pudding, um, just really, you know, when smoothies, um, it's just really, really great. Um, good fiber, um, good fat, um, great for digestion, good for your gut. That's what the goal is. First bag is done. Next, gotta get to the produce. Um, I've got some celery. Celery's great for soup um, to cook it. I don't really like to eat celery raw, but I know you can do that with like peanut butter and like whatever. Um, I just think it kind of tastes like dirt. So I like to eat it in soup and I also use it to make the broth. So let's go for this bag. It's like uh, in Halloween Town when it's like the bag that just never ends. It's like that. Um, I got some canned tomatoes um, for a recipe that I'm going to be making. So don't know what that is yet. I just saw it on the list, so I'm going to have to get it. We've 
We've got some sliced black olives. These are good on top of whatever. Um, we've been putting them on top of our tempeh tacos. I don't really like olives and that's a good way to eat them when it's mixed with other things. Kind of like tomatoes. Um, okay, next I've got some chickpeas, great for salad soups, making hummus, whatever you like, love chickpeas. Um, next we've got some lentils, perfect for those tempeh lentil tacos. Um, also super good, what else do we make with these? I forget. Oh my gosh, we make this like super, super, super good ragu. So you just kind of like um, cook some tomatoes and then put some lentils in there and mix it with some vegetables and until like Italian seasonings. And it's like this really delicious ragu. And that's what we make with like polenta. Um, you could eat it with really anything, but love lentils. Um, next I got some bamboo shoots and I, this is for, I think like a stir fry recipe that I um, have been making. So. Um, then we've got, this is the dip that I wanted to try, so I, that's why I bought the chips. I got this. So, obviously, Let Die Food is amazing. Their, like, queso dip is so good. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, but anyway, so they have this spinach artichoke dip that we haven't tried yet, so I was like, let's try it. Almond milk. Got a lot of almond milk. We like to make our own cashew milk. Um, also like to make our own whatever kind of nut milk you like. Um, however, now we use it a lot more than we used to. So it is just very inconvenient to try to make it that much and to just continue to make it. And it's just a pain. So i um, just been buying some almond milk. So we use that for like chia pudding, smoothies, um, pancakes, anything, everything. Almond milk pretty basic um and then just there's some more lentils in here i've got black lentils and brown lentils so curds peanut butter love peanut butter um my newfound thing um which i always was like afraid of doing for some reason was putting peanut butter in smoothies i just never really thought that the mixture of like fruit and peanut butter was like good because i'm weird i don't even like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches like that's just weird to me um but We've been making this smoothie and it's so good and it has peanut butter in it and it's like the perfect amount of everything and just like gives that hint of peanut butter. It's so good. Um, also, like I said, we put it on like toast. Um, you can eat it with like chia pudding, um, just whatever, peanut butter. Peanut butter is good. I love peanut butter. Lemons. Got some of this um, Primal Kitchen ketchup. So there's no sugar added in this ketchup. So it's super, super good. Um, yeah, it's just like tomato concentrate, balsamic vinegar, and some spices. So super good. Obviously, this is a Whole30 like approved item. Um, but even like when you're not on the Whole30, it's important to make sure that you are aware and just conscious of the products that you are eating and like what, like how many ingredients are in there and is there sugar in there when there doesn't even need to be like ketchup is it tastes the same with or without sugar. So you may as well just get it without sugar and just save yourself the sugar. This is the fun stuff. I like this stuff. Spinach, perfect for smoothies and just to put on like an open face sandwich or in a sandwich just, just for extra greens. Uh, red bell pepper. So we have been using this to make a roasted red pepper dip and it's so good. And I say dip, it's more of like a spread. So it's like kind of like goes on toast or like you can like eat it with like vegetables and it's so good. Okay, all these recipes that I'm talking about are from the book Fiber Fueled. So read the book, do the recipes, you will thank me later. Um, but yeah, lots of red bell peppers. What's this? Cilantro, love cilantro, love, love, love. Um, so good. We, the taco recipe has a cilantro recipe, cilantro like crema kind of dealio recipe. So that's super good. Also just love cilantro in general. Pineapple. Okay. So if I buy one more pineapple and I let it go bad before I cut it, um, Re is probably going to chop my head off. Like in the same way that you chop off this pineapple's head. Um, I love, love, love pineapple for some reason. It's like so annoying to cut, even though I literally have like the easiest, peasiest cutter in the universe that takes out the core and spirals it. It's just like, ugh, it's just, it's just so annoying to cut a pineapple, you know? 
I don't know, maybe that's just me. Eggplant, so I've got some eggplant, which is super good to roast with zucchini and um, what else do we do? Um, red bell peppers, um, just like it's the Italian seasoning, that's super good um, for like the ragu. And then we use that on top of like the toast with the, the red pepper dip. Bananas, gotta need bananas for everything. Um, typically we've been letting them just kind of um, ripen and then throwing them in the freezer and using them for smoothies. Next, we've got some green onions. These are great for literally anything. Get some extra, extra greens. Vegetables. We've got some tomatoes. So for awesome ragu, um, for tacos, whatever. I have like famously hated tomatoes like forever, but now I just kind of eat them. And I'm, I'm still thriving. So it's fine. You may even say that sometimes I like them, but we won't go that far. Chives! I don't know, just soup toppings, you know. Um, yeah, uh, kiwi, super good for uh, smoothies and just to eat, honestly. My favorite! Pomegranate seeds. Love, love, love to just eat these with a spoon. Um, lately, I've been really loving chia pudding pomegranate seeds, and some homemade granola and or toasted coconut. The, oh, just this, the like burst of just sweet tartness mixed with like the mellow flavor of the chia pudding and then the texture of the granola. It's like everything sings and it's like this glorious like, ah, you know, it's so good. And I love, 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 love these. Some dates, just use this mostly for making homemade um, cashew milk um, for coffee. And last but not least, we've got some zucchini to roast and some avocados. Avocados, yummy, yummy. Um, you may be asking, where's the potatoes? Um, we have potatoes from last time we went to the store, so we didn't need to buy any potatoes. Um, so let me explain a little bit about what we've been doing lately. So obviously as I've been talking about this book that we started reading, um, well, I read it, Rihanna didn't read it. Um, it's called Fiber Fueled and it basically talks about um, how we just need to diversify um, the plants that we eat in our diet. And we just need to eat as many different kinds of plants as we possibly can. And that is the number one predictor of like a person's health is how the variety of, of fruits, vegetables, plants that you eat. So that's fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds. Um, and so basically we have been plant-based about 90, 95% plant-based for a while now. Um, and that, and this book kind of, um, go, uh, obviously the, the book goes hand in hand with the plant-based diet because, um, there's a lot of studies and a lot of research um, cited in the book about um, why you should not be eating animal products and why, um, you know, whatever. So I'm not going to get into that. I'll let you make your own decision on that. Um, however, we, that we, that's the direction we went into is to stop eating animal products. We don't eat any dairy. We don't eat any eggs. We don't eat any um, meat, poultry, um, rarely, rarely seafood. I haven't eaten seafood in months and months and months. Um, yeah, and that's about 95% of the time. So maybe once a month or whatever, we'll go and have like, you know, plate of Mexican food and obviously there's cheese and you know, whatever, which is totally fine. Um, but just 95% of the time we eat a plant-based diet. And, um, and this book was really great because we were kind of in this routine of just like eating the same foods. And this book really was really helped open us up to why we need to eat more variety and all the benefits of all these different foods and the benefits of fiber. And where does fiber come from? All these fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. So um, fiber is essential for um, our gut and just how everything works. And your whole, all your health is like tied to your gut. And I don't, I'm not trying to like tell you any type of thing here. I'm just telling you just very gen generic items here. Um, so of course, take what I say and, you know, make your own decisions and, and do your own research and do what's right for you. 
Um, but just again, sharing what is working for us and what we're doing, what we're liking and what we are finding success with. So, um, if I talked in enough circles, I think we will be ready to conclude this video, but that is everything that we bought. So just trying to eat as many different fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds as we possibly can. Um, so eat definitely a lot of chia seeds. Um, that's not in the haul cause we have a lot of those chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, nuts, cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, almonds, did I say almonds? Um, and of course, um, like legumes, peanuts, um, chickpeas, beans, lentils, and then of course, just all of the fruits and vegetables. And um, I think the biggest thing is just finding good recipes. And that's why this book has been so great because it really brings in, oh, also herbs, 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 all the herbs. Um, but yeah, so there, there's a ton, tons of good recipes and it's just like, integrating all those things together and just finding like a new good recipe and like adding it into your rotation and just making sure you're getting a good variety of stuff. So that's what we're trying to do. Obviously like we probably went like eight or nine months eating potatoes every single day, which was great and it worked for us, but we wanted to make sure that we were diversifying our diet a little bit more. We still of course love potatoes. We enjoy potatoes. Potatoes have so many great benefits. They are healthy for you. Um, but we just now work it into eating other delicious things as well. So I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul unboxing um, from Whole Foods. Um, we share a lot of the things that we make and cook on our Instagram pages. So follow us there if you don't already. I am at Alex Kaminsky 22 and Rihanna is at Rihanna Kaminsky. Um, and you can find us there. We share a lot of recipes. We'll, we'll post food and post recipes or if you ask us you know we can send we can send stuff and um again like i said the, the book fiber fueled has a ton of amazing recipes um but yeah do what works for you find something that you can sustain for the long term find something that is uh, beneficial for your health uh, most importantly and of course of course of course speak with your doctor your dietitians your nutritionists um, we're not trying to give you any advice on what you should do, just trying to share what we are doing. So that's it. And get real, stay real. That's what I got. You'll see Re in a video soon. We've been trying to film videos for a while, but we haven't. Sorry. Bye.